we're a team and we'll think, act and perform as a team. My commitment to them is that I will teach them to row well. I will teach them to row fast. I will teach them to race. I'll teach them how to win. Can't win for them, but I'll teach them you know, the, the, the tools that are possible. And I'll use every skill, every tactic, every piece of knowledge, every asset that I can get my hands on to help the boys be the best they can. Let's make sure we're feeling the connection between the hands and the feet. Let's make sure we're getting that connection and nice one-piece acceleration. And then just release and let it go. It's a really good feeling, you know, just being on the water early in the morning, seeing the sun come up. Yeah, just really nice feeling the scent of the boat and just gliding through the water. My favourite part about getting up early is, whilst it may not be enjoyable at 4.10, whatever time it is, once you're at the session, and especially after you've finished it, you're just having a great start to the day and you're already productive and you're fresh and feeling good. Generally, when you're surprised, you're lost for words, but when we're on the water and we're in a piece and everyone's focused and it's our best one yet, it feels like the boat won't stop moving and everyone just keeps on pushing and pushing and they don't have limits. Uh, look, if you're going to get in it, definitely stick with it. Don't, don't take the easy route and stick with it and uh, definitely see results. That when you sign up to the sport, you have to be really committed and dedicated to it. And all those early mornings, you really have to push through them. Keep training, train hard. You know, every session you just want to be going 100% so you can just keep getting better and, um, you know, keep improving yourself when you're rowing. Uh, there's just such a big culture around it where I don't think like, any other sport you can get quite the same feeling where all the boys are pushing each other as hard and there's the same level of camaraderie. So, yeah, I value that. This Saturday is the head of the river. The accumulation of countless hours of physical exertion and sheer mental exhaustion. From the countless hours of volume on the erg to lifting tin, the rowing program as a whole has wholeheartedly committed to countless early mornings, bloodied hands, and sacrificing large chunks of our holidays to the grind. A combined two weeks of our holidays were spent on camps, truly strengthening us as we'd spend three sessions a day on the water with the only break from the water sessions being a session on the ERG. The leader brigaders have given the program ample confidence, with the majority of the crews in every age group earning numerous podiums, with the grade 9 and 10 boys being particularly dominant. All the hard work's worth it, and even though it's a difficult sport, it's a very rewarding sport. As a cox, when everyone's locked in, you know, um, from the get-go when it's hands-on, the boat, we're going down, I'm um, walking down on the boat on the pontoon, you can know if it's going to be a good morning or a bad morning. When everyone's locked in, you get hyped and excited because you know you're going to have a good day today and it's going to lead up to a good week on Friday, on Saturday for a good race. When pertaining to the first day, in all our races so far, throughout the first thousand, we're never winning. In fact, we often found ourselves at the back of the pack. I'm someone who uh, 
doesn't usually settle for mediocrity. The goal of the boat as a whole is, you know, definitely put our best foot forward. But as the race gets more difficult, as the physical fatigue starts to set, set in on our opponents, as their drive and physical ability wears thin, we mow them down. Landing us on the podium in the last three races. To put it simply, when the going gets tough, grammar gets going. For rowers, this weekend, as John said, marks the end of the season in a race that matters most, the GPS head of the river. As we acknowledge the first eight crew, these gentlemen are well aware that they represent many BGS rowers past and present, some of whom will compete on Saturday. The BGS first eight are Jake Nicholson, Alastair Jackson, Ned Waitman, Vice Captain of Boats, John Morrissey, Alexander Rowe, Reed Keeley, Seth Fiddler, Captain of Boats, Samuel Forbes, and Sol Ward. I ask you to join me in acknowledging our first eight and all BGS rowers. On behalf of the uh, Brisbane Grammar Rowing Shed, I would like to extend my thanks to all parents and supporting staff and coaches uh, because we could not get anywhere near doing it by ourselves without you guys. Thank you. I just want to say thank you to all the parents for you know getting up early for us and taking us to trainings and down in the shed. You know it's a really big effort and rowing is a huge commitment. So I just want to say thank you. Oh yeah, on the behalf of the 11 ones and the rest of the shed, just like to say thank you to our all the parents that have driven us in early to trainings and ergos and fed us and dealt with us while we're tired and upset and then the coaches for you know planning the sessions and making them making us go fast and also the boys you know we've had a good year and hopefully we can finish it off well thank you to all the boys parents and coaches for their hard work and dedication on and off the water thanks for all the hard work of the boys parents and coaches um, we really couldn't do it without you and you really make the sport very enjoyable <laughs>